all my brushes. So I've been having a problem that I, I think a lot of people have where they don't know what to draw. What I'm gonna do is sort of like a drawing exercise, sort of like a challenge. If you're interested in trying this out, I encourage you to do so. What I'm gonna do is paint some random blobs and then wait for it to dry and then come back and try to make something out of the blobs using only like a black pen, no pencil allowed. So let's just throw this in here. And then maybe one down here. And I wanted to do this in real time so that you would know that I I have no pre-existing ideas for these things. I'm just, it's completely random. Um, two more. And then I might come in and add another layer because I think having a little bit of shading can encourage some things that you might not have seen before. That one's still really juicy over there. This one needs some more. I think I'm gonna steal from this guy. Okay. Let's wait for that to dry. Okay, I swear there are like a million birds chirping and crap outside. I'm so sorry. Okay, these are basically, this one still seems a little damp. So maybe by the time that I'm done with the others, this will do, but I'm gonna be like flipping this all over the place. This might take a while. I'm just gonna skip ahead if I need to. But I'm looking at this first one. Oh yeah, I have this micron. This is all I'm using. And I'm not gonna cheat. Little birdie, little birdie. This is a scarf. Do you see it? I don't know why this girl would be wearing both earmuffs and a hat. She's just being overprepared, is all. So I'm kind of imagining one of those like big snowsuits that I actually never. I don't think I ever wore one of those when I was little, but a lot of people did. Okay. <laughs> one down, uh, several more to go. Right off the bat, I'm seeing a face right here. A face and a turtle. This week has been a huge blur. It's been like freelance jobs and Pokemon Go. Let me know in the comment section, are you playing Pokemon Go or are you one of those people that is trying to resist it and act like you think it's dumb? Now, I never said that this had to make any sense when you do this, so yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, guys. It's just too obvious. Another variation of this would be to make one that's just nothing but faces. This would be a way to practice doing things like hair if you're not really comfortable with it. I feel like hair is like you're making up things as you go anyways, no matter what. This kind of pushes your limits to be like, how can I turn this really weird shape into a hairstyle? Maybe I'll give him a mullet. Ooh, yeah. Boom. The only thing I don't know is what's really going on over here. Hmm, this is weird. How do I do this? If I go like this. Almost looks like a woman with a with a beard. Okay, so <laughs> um, that I mean that makes perfect sense, right? Why not? That's the beauty of this game. You never know what's gonna lead you. So what else can we do? This is hard. Da, 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 da. Man, I don't know. This one I'm almost actually kind of seeing like a a buffalo of sorts. What do their ears look like? Let's just make them up. 
think it's sort of like a cow. I should know this because I'm from Buffalo, but I don't. What do we do down there though? That's the question. <laughs> well, sort of. I think their backs actually go much further up like that. Okay, I'm done. I'm done butchering that guy. This one's hard because I really want to do something with the fact that it's mirrored like that. It kind of looks like a little car. Once again, not a real car. An imaginary car. Okay, I'm imagining we're kind of like looking into the car. Like, it's a convertible. Can you see it? There's the floor. This is like the side of the car. I don't know where this is going. We need the backlight too. Choo -choo -choo. Okay, there are some things I'm not very good at drawing. Just want to say, cars is one of them. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Who would have thought to draw a car looking like that? That's what I'm saying. Boost, boost, boost. Boost, boost, boost. Oh, hot rod. Alright. I see a teddy bear. I see a teddy bear. I see a teddy bear. And it's flying. I see a teddy bear flying. You guys, something terrible happened. I have no idea what happened, but I lost the footage of me drawing these two. <sighs> That's really disappointing. So, I'm sorry that you didn't get to see how this transformed, but I drew a teddy bear with a parachute and a strange little girl hugging a blanket. Oh my god, I'm so upset! Ugh. Well, sorry you missed the last two, but which one's your favorite? I want to say... <laughs> Not, not this one. That's okay. They don't always turn out and that is kind of the moral of this. They don't always turn out, but let me know which one's your favorite. I kind of like the little car because it's so funky and weird and I also like this strange looking, I think it's a woman now actually the more that I look at it. I'm so sorry that you missed out on basically half of this video. If you're feeling up to it, give this challenge a try. It doesn't have to be watercolor, it can be basically anything. Use the hashtag Pignet on Instagram or Twitter and make sure you tag me so I can see it because I'd love to see what you come up with. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know if you liked this challenge and if you'd like me to do something like this again. I'm probably going to be looking into something sort of like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And what I think is amazing is that when you are, especially if you are a creative person, you can get started in high school. You don't have to be this post-grad. You don't have to have a master's to start your career as a creative entrepreneur. Like you, you can start today.